Praise God. Today we continue with our teaching on uh, worldview. And we said worldview means the way you see the world. And we established that the Christian worldview is the one to have, the right one to have. And specifically today we talk about uh, honestly acquired resources. What am I trying to say? You should earn an honest living. You see this uh, notion that you should get rich or die trying has gotten people to acquire wealth or money or resources by all means necessary. Could kill people, steal, scam people. And that's very sad because that's a very miserable kind of life. I tell you, if it's in God's will for you to be super wealthy like you imagine, he will make it happen through you. If it's not his will, he'll still provide for you. He'll not lack all the basic needs and even extras. Proverbs 16.8 says, Better a few possessions gained honestly than many gained through injustice. Why? I'll tell you this for free. I've seen people's lives uh, get shattered and people who can't sleep in peace or who are, are paying uh, hefty hospital bills and have a lot of other dramas in life partly because of ill-gotten wealth. Whereas there are people who labor and just earn an honest living, and they, they don't have a lot of money, but they're very peaceful. They can sleep in peace, and they don't lack anything over the course of maybe, let's say, 10, 20 years. You look back, they're happier, and, and they have everything that they need. So don't think you chasing wealth and doing wrong getting uh, resources will get you anywhere. Those resources end up eating you up. They eat you in very many ways, health, peace, and, and many other things. Instead, as 1 Peter 4.10 says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. When you earn an honest living, don't think it's just about you. You can help others too. So strive to earn what you've worked for, and God will bless you. Amen.